Seeing Graham Jones on top 8 to Sky 2017 was a surprise to me because I knew that he broke his clutch master and fixed it, but how? In any other case, this time Romanian's 2020, he told me that he crashed and lost his electric starter and it took quite some time for him to realize that he had the good old kick starter. You must have heard lots of stories like this from your friends, from riders, from media outlets, but seeing them in an action video is priceless and to do that, you need an action cam. We have been using various models from several brands ever since we got into this and with that experience, I think we got the right one for you that deserves your money. The DJI Osmo Action 4. Before getting into our first ever tech review, don't you think there is something missing? Yes, right. We have the proper background lightning. For some reason, we, we felt like we needed them. So hello folks, it's B from Enduro Life and today I'm gonna try to break it down for you why DJI Osmo Action 4 is the one for dirt bike riders and what this little magic box is capable of in general. The most important thing for us is the image quality and to provide that you have to have a big sensor. And this one here has the biggest sensor ever put to an action cam. It is a 1 over 1.3 CMOS which allows you to, to film 10 bit D log. We were expecting an update from GoPro when they were about to share, publish their Hero 12, but not surprisingly, there is no update with, with its sensor. Um, it is also, I mean, it has also transmitting the feeling of the footage. I mean, when you're going steep onto a hill or a downhill, it is somewhat transmitting the feeling, the surroundings. And it, we felt like maybe it is just us, but after sharing a, just a single video from Romania 2023, we started receiving um, a lot of comments about this one. It has also way less distortion when you're filming ultra wide. When you're filming with GoPro, you just see a lot of distortion at the sides of the frame. But this one, it's nearly no distortion at all. You can just watch and decide with this comparison media. Second of all, it's the battery life. Hard Enduro races, the single track ones like Romania's, these are long races and you don't have too much chances to change your battery. So this one has a claimed 160 minutes of record time, but that is with 1080p, 24 frames per second. We are settings, which is uh, 4K, 60 frames per second, ultra wide, rock steady on. We, I mean, you, you will have at least 75 to 80 minutes, at least. With the same settings, the most, the, the longest video we get from our, with our GoPro 11, it might be around, 45, let's say 50 minutes, and, and that's if you're lucky. With Hero 12, they claim that they have a battery upgrade. Um, as I had said earlier, we didn't have the chance to check it out, but I watched a YouTube review. He put Osmo Action 4 and Hero 12 into a test. He set both cameras 4K, 120 frames per second, and stabilization on. Hero 12 died at 55th minute, whereas DJI Osmo Action 4 kept recording 15 more minutes, which is 70 minutes. It also supports 30 watts of fast charging. You can fill her up like from zero to 80% in just 18 minutes. 18 minutes is, is a great, great number to reach. It is also, I mean, if you buy the adventure combo, um, you'll get a, a uh, storage box for your uh, batteries, like this. You can store your batteries, you can charge all your batteries at the same time, and also, just as you can see, it has light indicators that shows the charging level of your batteries, which are inside at the box. It's super cool. On the practicality side, um, the magnetic mount is just mind-blowing. Um, it is so easy to take the camera on and off the mount. It might trigger the question if it is safe. The answer is yes, it is, because um, Red Bull Romaniacs 2023 P9 finisher Sony Goggia from Italy wore this very camera more than 20 hours of racing without a single problem. So it is Romaniacs 
test it. Um, plus that, the side doors are really easy to open and close. Um, during some races, we just, we either change the camera, the whole camera, or the battery. Um, either scenario, the DJI Osmo Action is the simplest camera ever you can find in the market. So what this magic box is capable of in general? Let's talk some numbers and take a closer look to it. It has dual touch screen, one in front, one in rear. Um, you can navigate, I mean, it, they are all super responsive and navigating through menu is, is super easy. Um, before skipping this topic, we never use our action cameras without screen and lens protectors. And I would suggest you do the same if you are doing some extreme sports. It supports the 4K image quality up to 120 frames per second when you are filming at the ultrawide, which is uh, 155 degrees. Um, it does not support 8 to 7 aspect ratio, just as GoPro does, but um, if you need to film a vertical video, you can put your camera into, in, into its cage and mount it vertically. There you go. It's a solution for, for the aspect ratio. Um, DJI calls it stabilization rock steady and it comes with two different settings which first one is rock steady and the other one is rock steady plus we we usually use rock steady which is more than enough for us it also offers 360 degrees of horizon steady which locks the image a complete circle and that works um, at 2.7k up to 60 frames per second as well as it is offering a horizon balancing which is working uh, 4K up to 60 frames per second. Horizon balancing is like the, the camera is balancing your, your image up to 45 degrees. Something over 45, the image rolls over. Um, to me, horizon balancing, uh, because it is supporting more image quality, uh, 4K up to 60 frames per second, is perfect for dirt bike riders. Uh, at some races, we, I mean, where it is really hard to carry a huge gimbal with a DSLR on it. Um, we just take an action cam uh, and a stick. We just put it on and just start filming. And by doing this, I mean, we got some of the rarest racing footage from several races. Because it is really compact. And with this setup, I mean, really light extension rod from DJI. The horizon balancing 4k up to 60 frames per second i mean it will do excellent at these conditions a really nice feature that dj added uh, to osmo action is that now we are able to uh, adjust sharpness and the noise reduction which would really ease things up at the post processing depending on the situation um, and with this one we can create up to five profiles video profiles and navigate at those custom settings using this side button. Durability and reliability wise, uh, DJI Osmo Action 4 is also passed the test. Um, it never freezed or failed to shoot at any time. I mean, it's been a while that we are using this little thing. Um, it is also super fast to uh, power off and on or start recording. Um, the Waterproof depth is increased from 16 meters to 18 meters with uh, Action 4. But if you want to go further, you can buy the special casing for it, and which will increase the waterproof depth to 60 meters. Last but not least, the pricing. DJI Osmo Action 4 standard combo comes with a price tag of $399, whereas the Adventure Combo, $499. My pick would be the Adventure Combo, but it's up to you to decide. I'll be putting all the supporting information and the necessary links into the video description, and I hope you'll find this useful. Thanks for watching and goodbye.